For its longest crewed mission to date, China sent three Taikonauts into orbit. Nie Haisheng, the mission's commander, is a 56-year-old veteran making his third trip to space. Liu Boming, 54, did China's first ever spacewalk in 2008. Tang Hongbo, 45, is from the second batch of candidates who is now on his maiden flight. So why have they been chosen? Huang Weifen, chief designer of the astronaut system of China's manned space program, cites the strength of each. Ni Haisheng can deal with all kinds of problems calmly, so he has to stabilize the situation, which is very important. Ni has the experience of conducting manual space docking, and this is very important. And Liu Boming once helped his teammates Jai Zhigang perform a spacewalk during the Shenzhou 7 mission. Therefore, Liu has the experience of extravehicular activity. Tang Hongbo, a member of the second batch of Chinese astronauts in 2010, was also selected in the Shenzhou 12 space crew. Tang was selected as a backup crew member for the Shenzhou 11 mission, which shows that Tang performed very well. These three astronauts performed very well based on our early observations. Chinese astronauts are mainly selected from outstanding pilots. However, Taikonauts need to undergo extreme tests, stimulating the special environmental factors they will be subjected to in space, such as weightlessness, low pressure, and working in confined dark spaces. All of these challenge human physical and psychological limits. The astrovehicular activity is a great challenge for the astronauts, so we strengthen their physical training and strength training, including their upper body and core strength. The three men have undergone more than 6,000 hours of training, including hundreds of underwater somersaults in full gear, to get accustomed to their suits for spacewalks. Xin Wei Nan, CGTN.